I'm Mercury Sports Editor Austin Herzog. And I'm sports writer Sam Stewart. And we're here for a special edition of Off the Presses, Fall Sports. Affordable elegance for springtime awaits you. Don't forget your indoor landscaping at Elastic Furniture and Discount Floor Coverings. Open seven days a week at High and Charlotte Streets in downtown Potsdam. They cover every room in your house. Hi, I'm Mercury Sports Editor Austin Herzog, alongside sports writer Sam Stewart. And we're here for a special edition of Off the Presses, Fall Sports. We're gonna, last week we touched on the high school football season with football beat writer Daryl Grumley. This week Sam and I are gonna wrap it around all the fall sports including soccer, field hockey, and all the rest of the fall sports. Sam being our field hockey beat writer, he's the man in the know when it comes to field hockey. Sam, what do we have to expect from the field hockey season? Well right now we're on scene in Upper Park Yeoman as they take on Gwennon in an odd lead matchup. They lost last week to Sourdin. Uh, a little shaky at first, but in a frontier division that's going to be wide open, Upper Perky Omens will be in the thick of things. They lost 13 seniors. They lost Casey Umstead, Mac Letterer, uh, Rachel Felbinger. They lost a key group of their girls, but with a frontier division that's going to be kind of shaky, look for them to be at the top. Phoenixville will probably win the division. They return Bailey Quinn, uh, Rose Moore, TJ Jeffress, so they'll be at the top. But look for Upper Perth to try and recreate some magic they did last season. The Liberty Division, the Liberty Division should be a toss-up. I know Springford lost Dante Vagnani to the PIAA gender rule, and after that, Springford hasn't looked too good to start the season. So right now, it's going to be Mathathan, who they have Brittany Dickinson and Sammy Steele, both U19 national team members. Uh, Perk Valley, if they stay healthy, they still have Kelsey Geis, Annie Hemsworth, they'll be strong. Owen J can never plan out a uh, Claire and Chanel team. And then Boyertown. Boyertown's actually rising up through the ranks. They doubled their win total from last season. So it'll be interesting to see what they do this year. It's going to be exciting times in the field hockey season. Opportunity awaits you at our expanding personal care retirement community. Full-time and part-time openings for all shifts. Join our growing team providing quality care in our brand new facility. Apply today at Keystone Villa at Douglasville. Personal care. Looking for a flexible job? Need to make your own schedule? Chestnut Knoll at Home is seeking reliable, mature individuals for at-home caregiver positions. At-home caregivers are responsible for providing assistance to individuals in their homes. We're back to Off the Press's Fall Sports Edition. I'm here with Austin Herzog. I'm Sam Stewart. Austin, Pottstown Mercury Sports Editor, real good commentator for soccer in this area, really knows his stuff. He's one of the beat writers for this soccer area. And Austin, what's going to happen this season? I wish I knew, Sam. It's, it's pretty wide open here in the Pac-10 for in both boys and girls in 2014. You've got a number of teams, especially on the girls' side, a number of teams coming off historic seasons. Spring Ford coming off second place in the PIAA. They were silver medalists last year, had an incredible group of seniors, as well as some great sophomores who returned the likes of Gabby Vagnazzi, Laura Suero. They're back for Spring Ford, as well as Boyertown was also a PIAA quarter finalist, their best result ever, but they were also senior dominant. Now with so much graduation, especially in the Liberty Division with the top teams, it's really anybody's guess. But the top teams in girls soccer also include Owen J. Roberts, who looks to have a bounce back year, and Phoenixville is another team to watch. Cecilia Knob will lead from the midfield for the Phantoms this year. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with. They had an outstanding year, one of the best seasons ever for the Frontier Division a year ago, and now they look to even build on that again. So really, it's hard to say. Over in the boys' side, another situation where a lot of graduation sees a wide open field. Boyertown looks to have a great class with a, and a balanced lineup as well. I was out to catch them last Friday. They looked great in a season opening win against Mathact. Spring Ford always is never far from the picture, but they lost a ton of seniors. But Dan DiLiberto is back for the Rams. So for the boys, just like the girls, it really is anybody's guess. It's time to wait and see, see how the season plays out. Let's touch on the rest of the fall sports. So Sam, tell me a little bit about cross country. Girls cross country, it's still be interesting to see whether Ryan DiOrio can fill the footsteps of Kara Stanky. She was the 
Mercury All Area Runner of the Year last year. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, if Diorio can do it again. She can make the fact in a uh, Pat 10 powerhouse. And then for boys, Paul Power from Springfield. That's all I need to say. He's back looking for another Pac-10 championship. Well, Austin, what about tennis and golf? What do you think? Man, tennis, it's a, uh, there's one big name when it comes to tennis. Her name's Mihaela Kodranu of Methacton. She's the reigning second place finisher in the state. An incredible result, one, definitely the finest result of any girls tennis player in area history. Her Methacton team will look to continue an excellent run, as well as Kadranu's finish last year. Methacton was also the second place team in the state. A historic season for them. They've lost a number of key players, including two of their top three singles players. Methacton still will be the favorite in the Pac-10, but we'll see how far they can make it in the postseason. After that, in golf, there's a number of great returners, including District 1 champion Kyle Vance of Methacton. Methacton did take a loss earlier this year to Springford, which is led by Matt Kime and Ben Potchett this year. So the Rams could be in the lead to win the Pac-10 championship this season. Also, some players to watch are returning girls champion Emily Gilbert of Boyertown, as well as Owen J. Roberts, Maddie Sager, who's shot incredibly well for Owen J. Roberts so far this, se this season while playing with the boys. Thanks very much for Sam Stewart. I'm Austin Herzog. This has been a special edition of Off the Presses. Don't wait any longer. Start saving money on your heating bill when you heat your entire home, water, and more with the safe, comfortable heat of a central boiler outdoor furnace. Call Keeler Service Center at 215-723-8445 or visit keelerservices.com. McConnell's Refrigeration has a huge inventory of refurbished refrigerators and restaurant equipment. Local delivery is $25. We service all makes and models. Call Rob at 610-469-6107. Be sure to check out all of our fall sports previews, including volleyball, at www.gametimepa.com. That does it for us this week. For myself and the rest of the Off the Presses team, have a great week. For the most up-to-date news, weather, sports, and entertainment, visit our website, potsmark.com. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is MercuryX, and you can find us on Facebook. We'll be here every Thursday with a recap of the top stories and what you can expect coming up next. Off the Presses.